Iceland might be emerging from winter, but much of the country remains in semi-darkness as volcanic ash blankets the south of the country. Air travel in much of Europe has ground to a halt, but it's closer to Earth that Icelandic farmers are feeling its impact. Glacial flooding and settling ash has kept animals indoors and forced at least 20 farmers from their properties. There are approximately between 20, 30 farms in the area where farmers are not staying overnight and they are allowed to uh, go to their farms, uh, feed their cows, uh, milk them and so on. Winds are pushing the ash south, where 12% of Iceland's milk production and 15% of cattle is found. Fortunately, it's an indoor exercise, as inhalation of settling ash can cause internal bleeding and bone damage in stock. Flooding is also a problem, as farmers struggle to get what milk they can produce collected. We have only uh, one road that uh, goes through the island. Uh, that went uh, 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 in the flooding. There was uh, some problems with, uh, in transportation, so because the road uh, was uh, damaged by the water. But uh, that has been fixed now. And Bjarnason says the real cost of the eruption will be known when flood and ash damage to grasslands can be measured. If the eruption will, will go on for uh, maybe weeks or months, uh, a valuable farmland uh, would uh, damage. Previous eruptions of the mountain have lasted more than a year, and volcanologists can't say how long this one will last. Farmers can only hope they'll catch a glimpse of this year's summer sun. Michael Wright, Country 99 TV News.